My name is Diana and recently something weird happened and changed my life. And the main reason for my nightmares is my best friend. The point is that he did something strange lately. It was so unusual that I still don't know how I should respond. Suddenly, without any notice, he just pulled down his trousers and then he showed me everything. Actually, I'm pretty sure Ralph had his own reasons, but, well, we're very close, but not this close. Will you help me deal with this situation? So here's how everything happened. I should say that we're friends from early childhood. We're the type of friends that will never become a couple because all the chemistry ran out on the stage of sharing one potty. Yes, we started hanging out with each other being little kids. For a long time, I thought that shaggy moron was my brother. Then I counted everything and understood that we were not related. Back to the chemistry. Certainly our parents dreamed about our wedding, but they quickly realized that it's not going to happen just because no one gets married to his close relatives. Other children treated us as twins or as a brother and sister. Fortunately, we didn't look similar. Otherwise, I would definitely suspect one of our fathers. But we had different appearances. So different you can't even imagine. I'm the image of my father and he's from Nigeria. Although Ralph and I were of a different sex, it didn't prevent us from hanging out and chatting. Though many people say that girls and boys can't be friends. That's nonsense. If someone can't be friends with another because of something between his legs, this is his problem. We were fine with that. That's why I was speechless when I saw what I saw. That day, Ralph seemed to be so mysterious that I broke down and asked him about the reason for his fidgeting back and forth. Ralph looked at me and asked me to wait and then meet him at our place after class. Our place was a little tree house in the garden near his house. Certainly, we were not kids anymore, but the house sustained our weight, so there was no point in changing the place. Besides, parents could enter a room at any moment, but they couldn't secretly climb the tree. So I agreed, though he looked very suspicious. What was the secret? Why did he keep playing those spy games? At the tree house, Ralph kept fidgeting and kept silent. He didn't answer any of my questions. Also, he wasn't going to confess why we gathered there. It was until my best friend stood up and, with his cheeks blushing, started to slowly put down his pants. What would you think being in my shoes? Given us being teenagers and having no experience, well, I got confused and then decided to scream. Meanwhile, Ralph took off his pants and started to pull down his briefs. I went near the exit and asked him not to do anything crazy. He didn't want to answer my questions. That's okay. But why did he react so dramatically? I was just asking. Then all my thoughts just faded away and there were some inaudible exclamations like, Ooh, eh. It appeared that Ralph was fidgeting for a reason. He had a big surprise for me and no, it was not the thing you just thought about. He had a ring... There. You know, the one which is usually put into a nose. But it wasn't in a nose. Coming to my senses, I carefully, without sudden movements, asked why he's showing all that Hollywood. The numbness seemed contagious because Ralph murmured something inaudible, put his clothes on, and ran away. I stayed there thinking about the piercing and its meaning in that case. What did Ralph want to say? Was it some kind of hint that he doesn't want to be just friends anymore? Or he just wanted to brag? I felt confused. I don't know how I can ask Ralph about that. So I just followed him and remained silent like a moron. It looked like stalking. But honestly, how should one ask about that? I was out of ideas. I gave my girls a hint that a guy showed me his genitals. They laughed at me and said I was dumb. The boy for sure wanted to show me that he likes me. Maybe I am dumb. So I tried to recall all Ralph's actions which could be treated as a flirt, like some touches, words, or gestures, which could be interpreted like, yeah, it really was rather ambiguous. And I found some. Subtly, I started thinking about Ralph as a boyfriend, and it looked not as bad as I thought it would be. 
At that moment, my wandering around him became totally weird. I wanted to show him that I'm okay with getting closer, but I didn't know how to tell him that. That's why I tried to give him a hint or wink. Well, who knows what I was doing. Now I'm even more confused than I was before. Everything mixed in my head and there was some squeamishness. It was gross. And also understanding that I fell in love with my best friend. I don't know what I should do. Hello, everyone. My name is Ralph, and I can't understand these girls at all. Why do even the best of them, like Diana, behave in such a weird and crazy way? My friends and parents like to joke that Diana used to be my best part. Yes, although she's a girl, she is very cool, and she always knows how to get out of trouble. Sometimes, I even forget she's a girl. Maybe because other girls are so different, with their hairstyles, creepy skirts, and other stuff on their heads and in their heads. And Diana, she was my inside man. That's it. And she wouldn't struggle because of the broken nail right in the middle of the trip. I knew she was pretty. I noticed how other guys looked at her, but that has never bothered me. At the age of 14, I fell in love with my neighbor redhead, which she had a bad temper. That was the moment when I finally realized Diana was more like a sister for me, or a reliable comrade, but that's it. I've always thought it was a mutual feeling. Then that awful piercing happened. It's the redhead's fault. We were dating and wanted to do something more serious. The redhead said that she loved me, but I knew she liked other types of guys. She liked cool guys with tattoos, piercings, and motorbikes, so I decided to match her taste. Well, I didn't have enough brains or money to make a worthwhile change. I couldn't change my style, but a place where one could get pierced was situated just behind the corner. The best of all was they didn't ask for ID despite other prestigious salons. So I made it. I put the ring right in my, well, <laughs> you guess what? I was told it is popular and cool nowadays. I couldn't imagine I wouldn't be able to walk after that. I just wanted Redhead to notice my efforts. But Redhead only laughed at me, said I was dumb, and left. She traded me for some adult guy in leather trousers, and I was left with a broken heart and a pierced… well, I wish that was the worst. Unfortunately, that was only the beginning of my hard times. My poor genitals swelled up and looked rather bad, and there appeared signs of the pus. I couldn't walk decently, I couldn't even sit still, and it was too shameful to go to the hospital. So I thought about Diana. She's a girl, and they often have something pierced and definitely should know everything about it. I summoned her to our place to keep the secret and took my trousers off in front of her. Then I realized what exactly I was doing, and instead of explaining everything, I blushed and forgot how to talk. Diana ran away. God knows what she has thought about me. I wanted, yes, I really wanted to apologize because it was me who created the situation, but Diana started to terrify me. She followed me, made big eyes, and looked more like a mad owl than my best friend. And now, I don't know how to calm her down and recover everything. She keeps acting really weird, even creepy. If not for our old friendship, I would definitely think that she fell in love with me. But this is impossible. And it's also sad because I didn't want anything like that. Finally, I went to the hospital. There they called me an idiot and frightened me that the next time everything down there could just fall off. At least they took the ring off. I definitely don't regret that. Please do write in the comments what you think about the story and characters. Like the video, share it with your friends, and do not miss the next episodes.